Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And I'm super excited because today I have my friend Katie joining me. Today we're gonna to be making spider webs for Halloween. So Katie, we need a few things for our project. You wanna help me here? Yeah, sure. We need? Pipe cleaners. Definitely. We need googly eyes. Exactly, and you know what's special about these? These actually have a little sticky back, but yeah. you could use some that don't have sticky back. Yeah. We're gonna be using stir sticks. These are coffee stir sticks. I like using these because they're a bit longer than like a regular popsicle stick, yeah. but we're gonna use these for our base. And we're gonna need some beads. Now the important thing about the beads, Katie, is we wanna make sure that they have a big hole because we're gonna be putting like a bunch of pipe cleaners through there, so we wanna make yeah. sure that the hole is big. So if it's a tiny little hole, we're not gonna do very well, right? Yeah. And this is gonna be for our spider. We're gonna have some markers. We may or may not use these. It depends on whether or not we decide to use a white bead and we wanna draw on it. Yeah. Now, this is gonna be kind of important. We need some... Yarn. Yarn, right, exactly. But it can be any color, it can be any length, it can be any different type, it can be sparkly. This is really sparkly, I like this. Yeah. But it can also be plain, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, we are going to be needing some glue of some sort. Yes. We're gonna use a hot glue gun. Yeah. And then we do have a special added attraction. Tiny spider hats. <laughs> Tiny spider hats. And those are very, very important, I think. Yes. These are fun. You can get these at your local craft store or a hobby store. And of course, we have to have a pair of scissors, right? Yeah. And a work surface. So the first thing we're going to do, Katie, is we're going to make our form for our spider web. And, you know, when you do, have you ever done like a God's Eye? Have you ever made a God's Eye before? I think I may have. Yeah, some, a lot of people do those at camp and stuff. And usually when you do a God's Eye, you just make a cross like that. Mm -hmm. Well, in this case, what we're going to actually do is we're going to be making a six. So we've got six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six arms or six sides. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a pizza pie, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to do is instead of being like a cross, we're going to kind of make the letter X. Okay, mm -hmm. like that. And all I'm going to do is put a little dab of hot glue so right in the So they stay together. Exactly, so they stay together. Now, one of the things, as I'm about to burn my finger, one of the things you always have to be careful with with hot glue is to make sure that it doesn't drip down on the side and drip down on you. So we're going to put that like that. And see how that drips like that? That's yeah. why we were protecting our work surface, because that happens a lot. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to put this one right here on top. It kind of reminds me of a hot glue and wood sandwich. <laughs> a hot glue and wood sandwich. There yeah. you go. Excellent. Well done. Okay, so we're going to let this dry really good. Uh -huh. And while this is happening, we're going to do the most favorite part. Mm -hmm. I know the part that you like the most. We are going to do the spider. Now, do you want a black spider or a white spider? I'll have a white spider. Okay. So we're going to take that big ball there, and I guess I'll make a black spider. Mm -hmm. Now... You get to decide how long your legs are going to be. Do you want really long legs? Like, like we could have legs that were this long. I want legs sort of about that size. Okay, so we're going to cut this right about there and right about there. You want to cut those? Okay. So we're going to cut that into three. So right here? Yeah, that's good. You might be able to get four out of there. Is that cutting for you? Sometimes pipe cleaners are a little hard so, to cut. I'm doing it the wrong side. Ah, uh, that'll do it too. Always good to hold your tools the right way, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe if I hold that. There you go. Well done. And then right here. Yeah, that's good. Now, how many legs does a spider have? Eight. Correct. So, right now, we're going to put this through the body, right? So slide yeah. that through his body. And that's going to give us how many legs? Two. Right. So, if we've got two legs, how many legs do we have so far? We've got six. Right. So what do we need? We need one more. You want to cut away? Mm-hmm. Go for it. Excellent. Nicely done. Okay, now slide all those legs through there. So, Katie's sliding the legs through the hole, and this is why, Katie, we need a big hole, right? Mm-hmm. Got to have that big hole or our spider is going to be like, ah! so it won't get through. In fact, I've tried doing it with small holes, and you get one leg in this way and one leg in this way, and it's not a very good look for a spider. Usually it ends up as an amputee spider, not a good spider look. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You think you can get one more mm -hmm. in there, do you think? I think I yeah, can. Of course. You're Katie. You can do anything. So she's going to get this in here. And then I have this a feeling. a little long. Oh, trim it. Nicely done. So Katie's trimming to make sure that it is the right length. There you go. I'll just trim that a little. 
I'll show okay. you. Okay, actually fine. I won't. <laughs> we could always slide and trim too, mm -hmm. once you're all done. And then the other thing that I know that you're gonna wanna add here is the hat. Of course. <laughs> is the tiny hat. Now you have a very hard decision to make though. Which hat are you gonna use? I don't know. Mm, I know, this is a toughie, isn't it? I'll tell you what, whatever hat you don't use, I'll use, how's that? So then we'll end up with two that do have hats. So I'm gonna cut mine really quick here. I'm gonna see if I can put them all three at a time. Okay, so I'm Katie's hopeful. working on how she's gonna insert hers. She's, she's thinking of putting them all in at the same time. So that's good, we'll sit, check it out and see if that works. Now you can pre-cut all of your legs ahead of time just so um, if you're doing this with a group project or if you're doing it at school or if you're doing this for a Halloween party, you can do it so that they're all done ahead of time and people can just pick them up and go. Now I find, for my own sake, that I have to add them sort of one by one, but, and you know the one thing, oh you got them all in, the one thing about it is sometimes they do this little thing where they scrunch up on themselves and that always makes it, that always makes it tricky. And then the other thing to remember too, is if you can only get like three legs in so you get six mm -hmm. legs, if you can only do that, that's okay because it could be one of the bugs that's caught in the web. It doesn't have to be the spider. Yeah. So, have you made the decision as to which hat you would like? Yeah, I'm gonna use the black hat. Black hat, all right. Well, that's good because then the hat will show up better on mine because mine is the black spider. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? I have the black widow spider. I got the black widow. So I get the cowboy hat? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, have the, <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's not a black widow, it's a black cow poke. I got the black cow poke. Ooh, actually that, that's gonna be very cute. So, you're gonna add your hat and you're gonna add your eyes. And you've done a very nice job of making sure those legs are perfect. I love it. Well, I'll add your hat and then I'm gonna let, or you wanna add your eyes first? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you add your eyes first? Because I don't wanna mess up where your hat placement goes. While she's doing that, I'm gonna add my hat. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of hot glue. But you know, the thing about it is, Katie, you could use glue dots, or you could yeah. use like, you know, that kid glue that's real thick. That would mm -hmm. work too. Like the, like the cow glue, I think. Yeah, like, like the, the cow glue, or the, but Elmer's glue, yeah, any of that kind of, the cow glue. <laughs> yeah, Elmer's glue, exactly. So you could use that, that's good. All right, I got my cow poke. Oh, ha, ha, little lady. All right. Where's his eyes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have eyes yet. She's like, where's your eyes? Okay, it's not a spider unless it has eyes. Now, you know, if I was to do a real spider though, Katie, I'd have to put how many millions of eyes? Don't spiders have like... Eight uh, eyes. Yeah, eight eyes or something like that. Okay, mine has very big eyes. Okay, he's ready. How's yours? Glue the hat on? Good. Okay, I'll put a little glue on here and then you can place it wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put a little glue on there. And I'll give you the top part there so you can place it wherever you want. Nicely done. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna put our spiders off to the side here. They're gonna watch while you make a spider web. Because this is nice and dry. Now, just like a god's eye, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our string. Let's move all this. the silvery string. I like the silvery string. Did you like the silvery string? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have to find the end though, which is never easy. Let's see, you would probably have better eyes than I do. Let's see if we can find our end. I think I saw it. Did you see it? How about you pull it? There we go. There we go. The end is probably... Is the end near? You know what we can always do? Because we don't need too much of it. I'll cut it right here. I'll untangle that later. Okay, so we're gonna give ourselves... This is what I like to do, Katie. I like to go one, two, Three. That's like three yards. Did you know that? If you put your arm like that and from here to here? Probably not. <laughs> not yet. That's true. You probably. probably. <laughs> Maybe half a yard, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have longer arms than you do. Okay, so Katie, what we're going to do is I'm just yeah, going to get this started for you. It. We're going to twist this around the center. So see how I wrapped it a couple yeah. times there? And then I'm going to wrap it a couple times here. And okay. then I'm going to wrap it a couple times here. Now we're ready to go. And basically what you're gonna do is you just wrap it around and go to the next one. Okay. Wrap it around, go to the next one. And there's really no right or wrong because you're making it into a spider's web. So I'm gonna let you take over there. So what's great about this project is you can make your web as tight or as wide as you like. And as you can see over here, 
We've gone pretty, pretty evenly spaced, but on this one, got a little bit more wonk and do. And that's the way spider's webs are. Have you ever seen like a real spider's web? Mm -hmm. They're pretty intricate, aren't they? They're really neat. So the thing about it is that you can just keep wrapping and keep wrapping and make it as cool as you want to. And then when you get to the end of it, what you can do is tie it off and you can hang it as long as you leave like a little bit of the extra string. Now, some people like to keep theirs really short. Like some people like to end it right there. Sorry, Katie, my arm's in your face. But, but end it right there. Or they can go all the way to the end. All you want to do is you want to make sure that you leave at least a little teeny bit to tie it off at the end there. So I like to leave when you get to the end at least about a foot so that it's easy to tie that off. And then once I've tied it off, I like to add just a tiny little drop of glue because that's going to make sure that that knot doesn't slip off. But otherwise, when you've wrapped it around, it should stay in pretty good position. Ooh, look at you going to town, Miss Katie. Now, Miss Kate, just for the end of mm -hmm. our little little production here, yeah. we're going to end it for, for just now, just yes. to show folks how you add your spider. So I'm just going to mm -hmm. hold it because I'm going to let you keep continuing yeah. on once we're done here. Which, which one's yours again? This one. Oh, yeah, that's right. But tell them about it. Okay. So now she's just going to put that guy right in there. And you know what you do? You got those great legs. That's it. You just slide those little legs in, and it'll stay yes. right there. Yeah. And then you hang it up. Again, what I said here is you just tie this off with a little knot, regular mm -hmm. knot, put a little drop of glue, and hang it. And you got yourself a spooky decoration. For more fun Halloween stuff, come and check us out at soapy-world.com. <laughs> you want to go back to working on that? Mm -hmm. You're doing such a good job.